He said, stand by. That means it's happening really soon. I know. Which I think it's already happened. Carlin, are we on? <laughs> Carlin. No, there we oh, go. Hi. Thank you. Hi. It's a good thing we're not... We're we're not uh, professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're uh, not a professional radio, and we have a live audience. To, yeah, oh, let's hear. Oh, the we live. do. Hi, audience. Aren't you happy to 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 see and listen to this non-professional radio <laughs> broadcast? Uh, uh, Sun- radio from hell, of course. Yes, uh, broadcasting live from the Wasatch Brew Pub, Sundance Film Festival, and we have our next uh, filmmaker here. Yes, and I I've, I've got the first name Tonislav. Uh, yes, correctly. Okay, I'm going to try the last name again. Uh, it is... Uh, He's pretty good at this. Uh, Hitsko. Christoph, yep. Almost there. Pretty, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty decent. Hitsko. Well, uh, uh, yeah. uh, sort of. Uh, Don't choke, please. Yes. <laughs> Tonislav. <laughs> Tonislav. Uh, Tonislav. Tonislav is... Tonislav is great. Yeah, and that's easy. <laughs> it's almost like my mom says it. <laughs> <laughs> Tonislav! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, he's uh, directed a, uh, a documentary uh, called The Good Postman, and I was just reading the story of this uh, movie. Uh, it's about a, a small village on the border of uh, uh, Turkey and uh, Bulgaria, and it's a guy uh, uh, who's the postman. There are only 38 people who live in this little village. It used to be a bigger city. Yeah, 5,000 people used to, well, Fa- city. Fa- fairly big. Fairly big, yeah. Uh, and this guy, uh, who's the postman there, mm-hmm. uh, now, he's running for mayor, and he has a brilliant idea how to revitalize his city. Why don't you tell the story? Uh, yeah, uh, <coughs> the story of this village is, as you mentioned, that now they're living around yeah, 38 people, and they used to live many more. And uh, during the time, most of the people died or left uh, the village. But now um, this place is actually, the, as we call it, the, the back door to, to a refugees entering Europe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, most of the refugees who come to Europe from, from Syria at the moment, they cross from there because it's a mountain, a- mountain area and there is no uh, border fence. Mm-hmm. Ah, so so there, it's a there is way. quite much... Yeah. Um, of course, on legal, and then also legal refugees who uh, are searching for asylum mm-hmm. seekers. And then uh, the postman's idea is that if he can keep some of the refugees there, and then together they can rebuild the village. Brilliant Perfect. idea. Looks w- like it's a, it's a win-win. It's a win-win everybody. situation. Yeah. And instead of going on to into Europe, why don't you stay here in... in what's the name of the village? Uh, 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 gr- Great Derve- Gulam Dervent. Great Dervent. But it's also in Europe. Uh, so. so why not stay here <laughs> instead of going on? Yep. And, and we'll rebuild the town and uh, yep. to its former greatness. Or yep, exactly. Greatness of 5,000. Very simple yeah. idea. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Because, you know, you're getting with, with refugees, people with all kinds of skills and, and, and backgrounds and, and probably infrastructure that the, the town needs. Or Doctors and or, and, or, and... or if you're Donald Trump, you're getting rapists and murderers. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. no. Uh, well, yeah. You're no. getting carpenters and you're getting electricians. And, and uh, many of actually of the, from the Syrian refugees are really well educated, mm-hmm. to yeah. be honest, who are yeah. coming because they're running away from war situation, as you know. Yeah. Professional, and most the, yeah. professional people. Mm-hmm. Yes, so many of them are actually well educated. Mm-hmm. So thi- this is where the idea comes from. Uh, the movie is called uh, The Good Postman. Uh, and uh, there are two other people running for mayor yep. against the postman. Yes. Uh, and uh, what are what are their thoughts about his idea? Of course, one and who is the the second main character? Uh, he's totally pro Russia and pro Putin, oh. and and he wants to bring back communism to Bulgaria and uh, and the greatness of how it used to be. Mm-hmm. And so we follow actually the postman versus the 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 pro-communists. And the third person, who is also p- playing very interesting role, the third candidate actually doesn't give a... What word to use on radio? A damn. Okay. <laughs> doesn't give a damn <laughs> about what's happening to the village. And I'm not going to give any spoiler alerts, but okay. yeah, it's so getting yeah, really interesting. Y- y- you you are Bulgarian, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, you have family there still? Uh, yes, yes, I have a family and I was living 15 years in Finland where I studied filmmaking, but now I went back to Bulgaria. And where, did, where did your sympathies lie? Uh, uh, pff, yeah, of course I am, uh, <laughs> I am really pro 
trying to find a way to live with each other and help each other. With, right. the, yeah, with the postman. Absolutely. The good postman. Yeah. That's why it's not called... He would have named it the bad postman. The bad postman. postman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, it's interesting because you think that he's a good, but then at the end of the film, I will not give a g another spoiler alert. Things get really <laughs> rough. So oh, really? the first half is quite funny and it's really hard to actually have a funny documentary, mm -hmm. but the first half is really funny mm -hmm. and then it gets really serious. So the good postman, as uh, it's not... Yeah, so sure how good it is at the end. There are comic, comedic elements to it, and uh, yeah. I, I saw a picture of, of the uh, postman, just a still picture, yeah. and he's he's got kind of a funny, sad, face. I, he's very expressive looking. Yeah, yeah, he's really really charismatic. Mm. Well, uh, let's let's let give people a couple chances when they can see this. Yeah. Uh, you can see it today, 3 p.m. Sundance Mountain Resort Screening Room. Monday at the Temple Theater at 12.15. Tuesday at the Redstone Cinema. And Wednesday, January 25th, Broadway. That's back down in Salt Lake. Friday, January 27th at the Yarrow Hotel. And Saturday at the Holiday Village Cinema. Could I ask you about another movie that you made that's listed here? Yeah. Uh, it's called um, Once Upon a Dream, A Journey to the Last Spaghetti Western. But yes. What's that about? Uh, this was sh uh, shot in uh, in Spain, uh, where they um, they shot once upon a time in the West, and all this they did over 500 spaghetti westerns mm -hmm. in this small village called Tabernas. Oh. So Claudia Cardinale went back 40 years later, and I was there with them, kind of trying to 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 see how life have changed, and they have quite similar destiny, like the great Dervent, that no one anymore lives there, no one anymore makes movies. So, so it's, it's the town where they made all of those spaghetti Absolutely westerns? Absolutely, all of oh, them, okay. and now cool. there is nothing left right. anymore. Is, there there is that available for people to see? Could you yes, yes, it's, it's, uh, it's available also. Yeah. You could find online. it online. Absolutely. Find right. it online. Thank you. The movie right. is The Good Postman. Give a hand yeah. to Tonus Lott. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Tonus Lott. All right, time for a rebroadcast of the Boner of the Day, three new stories that are examples of bad.